Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I am playing A Credible Tale of Yokai Robots and the Lunar Taurus. This is a Kickstarter demo for a game with a lot of interesting elements to it that hopefully we will get to see in this demo. New game. Hello. Hero, wake up. You must save her. There is a child in the woods to the north. Find her and protect her. There's no time to explain. You must go now. Okay. Tutorial. It's dark outside. You should make a torch to take with you. First, you will need to gather the required materials. Press and hold left-click in any direction to move. Walk over to the red table now. Done. Left-click sparkling objects to pick them up. Press and hold left-click on Hero to open his menu and select Crafting to open the crafting menu. Choose Torch and left-click Craft Item to create one. Boop. Boop. Oh, that's nice. Woo! Woo-hoo! Uh, crafting. Workbench, utility items, torch. I need oil, stick, rope. I have one of each of those, so... Craft item. Close the crafting menu. And open hero's menu and select weapon. Left-click the torch to equip it. I guess this is fists. Kenpo. Torch. Alright. Now you're ready to go. To open doors, stand in front of one and right click on it. Is that not a door? Is that not a door? Door. Where's the door? There we go. Okay. Outside. What is that? I've sent a friendly spirit to guide you. Go quickly before it is too late. If you get separated, a white icon will appear on the screen to show you which way to go. Follow these markers to reach your objective. Friendly spirit. Okay. So... While well, I'm following this friendly spirit, I suppose I'll explain what this game is. It's kind of an interesting hybrid of a bunch of things. There's a tower defense aspect to it where you build your town to defend against invaders who are trying to, well, you'll see in a minute. Um, also, there's a lot of crafting, building, and then there's a lot of like party building aspect of the townspeople trying to like this is cool trying to like build up your town that you can build and level up your townspeople to help you defend so it's kind of a hybrid of a bunch of things and then there's like real-time combat they're saying is inspired by like S SNS RPGs like Secret of Mana Zelda oh whoops press space bar to jump try not to fall in the river okay um, Secret of Mana and Link to the Past and like that kind of like classic SNES RPG combat, which is cool. Also, obviously, the art is super awesome. It's like 3D hand-drawn art. Like 3D, 2D art. It's very cool. Um, and if you haven't been able to tell yet by the theme and the music, this is set in Japan. Oh boy, okay. The baby in the pot is Kagu K Kaguya. A great power lies within her. She has been sent here to escape a terrible war, but those who would use her power for evil pursue her still. 
Take her back to the village and protect her at all costs. Some of their minions are on us upon upon us already, and you will need to defeat them. Press right click to perform a punch attack. Each time you attack, your stamina will be depleted momentarily before it recharges. If you attack again before it finishes recharging, you won't do very much damage. Time your attacks to be more effective. Oh, there's the stamina in the corner. I don't see any enemies. I do, however, see a kiosk. Found one out of five secret vending machines. Secret code for this vending machine is Kappa. Um. Oh, there's an enemy. Oh, hello. You look like a bad guy. Fallen soldier. I'm just gonna keep punch. Oh, he's dead. Punch. Punch. Gotta keep. Gotta. I only attack when my stamina is full. Punch. Whoops. Punch. And they're dead. You have the spirit of a warrior, much like your father did. Unfortunately, that's not always enough. I'll share with you what power I can spare. Ooh, zing. That looks like a level up. Or I'm just super powerful now. You've received the Mega Punch Charge skill. Open Hero's Weapon and choose Kenpo, then select Mega Punch to equip it now. Alright. When your stamina is 100%, press and hold right click to start gathering energy. When you release, Hero will unleash a devastating punch that sends everyone flying. Try it now. Boom! Well. <laughs> you must move quickly. The two Ochimusha you defeated were scouts. A much larger group will come soon. Take Kagoya to the village and survive until morning. Use my power to keep her safe. Okay. Ah! We're all gonna die! I saw a bunch of Och... Oh boy. I'm gonna stumble here. Ochimusha on the south skirts of the village! These villagers will need a strong leader if they are to survive. They may not look like much, but if everyone works together, they can do great things. Maybe you can use that tower. Choose a villager and press and hold left click to bring them in the menu. Select move and left click where you want them to go. Try putting a villager in the nearby tower. Villagers on towers have greater range and accuracy. Hey, move there. Oh, and poof. Get ready. Here they come. Protect Kagoya. Time until dawn. 183. So are these ba is this a bad guy? This is health, but I can't tell if he's a bad guy or not. I think these are townspeople. That's Ichiro, and that's Goro. One of the things, also, that they're making a point to do... Jiro, who's dreaming of sushi. One of the... Oh, here they are. One of the things that they're making a point to do... Whoa. Alright, I gotta time that better. Um, as part of this game is for it to help teach people Japanese. So, part of the part of the gameplay will have some additional, like... Oops. Um. No. Weapon. Combo. Mega Punch. Um, so... Part of the game will have... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I got to time this better. There's a... Nice. Hit him back. There's a significant aspect of the game that is, like, language training or practice. So there's things in the game that will allow you to... Oh, nice. I hit him with the other guy. Um... That you'll be able to do. Oh, there's a house over there. That you'll be able to do in the. Oh no! Where'd he come from? Um, certain things that you'll be able to do. Oh no! Uh, that you'll be able to do in the game that help that will help teach you Japanese, which is very cool. Like, and that have in-game benefits. So, like for example. 
I think one of them is that you could do like flashcards that let you gather resources faster, like that kind of thing. Which is interesting. It's kind of a an additional layer to a game that you don't normally see. That kind of thing. Which is cool. Okay, I gotta I'm I'm dying here. I gotta be careful. I keep clicking on the menu by accident. And I have to make a point to charge up before I run into battle. Because I'm not doing so hot. Charging standing in front of the enemies, which probably isn't the best way to go about things. But this charge attack is basically a one-shot kill. So that's useful. There are 32 units left until dawn. Boom! Nice, I knocked him into the other guy. The fact that they're reanimating is not great. Nice. But these guys all have a hundred health. Oh, it's morning. Oof. Woo! We showed them a thing or two! In a future version of this demo, I'll be showing you how to construct towers to better guard against more powerful yokai invaders at night. However, we're not quite done with that part yet. For now, how about you go on a bit of an adventure? Sure! Mark a few locations of interest. Follow the white arrows to check them out. Feel free to take a dip in the sauna to replenish your hit points and follow the river west and climb the mountain to find the yokai den. Inside, there will certainly be a boss fight. Defeating bosses like this will stop the minions from attacking our town, although it may attract the attention of other yokai. Good luck. Well, I definitely need to take a dip in the sauna to replenish my health, because my health is rough. Is that in here? I don't know, I can't see the door. Okay. Um, this is, that's the river. This is the Lumberjack's house. That guy's just gonna chill up there forever now. Which I guess is fine. This is a thing I saw before. I don't know what this is. Is that maybe pointing me to the sauna that way? Could be. Well, whatever. Let's follow the... Let's go this way and... S oh, wait. There's some more stuff. The arrows are pointing to s more stuff. That's the yokai place. That's probably the boss. This way. There's something else this way that it's telling me to look at that looks interesting. So let's go for an adventure. I really like the, I'm I'm really like this 2D 3D look. It's, I think it's really cool. That like these are 2D elements, but they're in 3D, kind of like it's hard to explain, but I think you get it by looking, right? It's cool looking. And then these trees are 3D, but the leaves are 2D. These are 2D. But it's a 3D environment. This is a really interesting look. It's a mountain. Whoa! Okay, that's the edge of a mountain, I guess. The sauna is this way, if that's what this is pointing me to. Maybe it's up here on this mount. Oh yeah, there it is. This is probably the lair, then. So let me go this way. Is this how I do it? Yeah. Nice. All right. You jump real high. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go up the mountain, right? To the lair. Oh, you're an you're an enemy. You. Oh my God! I threw him all the way to town. That punch is no joke. So it seems that in the demo they focus on the combat aspect of it first, which makes sense because that's kind of a big part of it, and they're still working on the tower defense part. Um, makes sense. You got to pick something to start with, you know. You can't uh, do everything. Combat is definitely more fun in a demo than tower defense, so I get that. Almost ran off a cliff. I do wish I could rotate the camera, but 
Maybe in the future. That's how, you know, games in development are in development. That looks like their lair. I had to go down a different way. I'm kind of falling. Oh, there's fish! Those are clownfish down there! wonder if I go around to get there that way. I'm going towards this, like, huh? arrow. Because I really want to see this. Is this a sword? I think I just found a sword. Katana! Yeah! Now, I wonder if the katana is going to be as good as that power punch, because the power punch was really something. Alright, this is the stairs down. Can I... I'm going to jump across. Yeah! Nice! Alright, here. Oh, running off the edge. I wonder if I can run off the edge. Yup! Oh no. Well, it's a good thing that was buggy. Alright, I jumped in the water and respawned. Good. <laughs> that answered my question. Alright. So... Oh my god, this is so awesome. These fish are so cool! And crabs! Oh, well they're not friendly fish. I can't go in the water. Wait, alright. Alright. I love the fish though! Anyway, um... Anything over here? Yes, perhaps an enemy. Wait. Charge up and attack! Since I actually, since I don't have a charge attack, the katana is not really worth my time. It seems like the the Kenpo, the Mega Punch, is so good that I don't have any need for a katana. Which says a lot about my fist power. It's better than a sword. That is impressive. Okay. Up here I am. To the boss. Maybe the sword will be useful in this lair. Oh wait, there was a house down here. Oh, okay. And a vending machine. If I wanted two secret two of five secret vending machines, this code for this one is Seamuson. The other ones might have been the other direction, but and I can't can I open this door? Can I pull this lever? Can't do anything with this, it seems. Maybe in the future. Um. Okay. That's fine. Let me go into the cave. I can't help but jump everywhere. It's just my gamer instinct telling me that jumping is faster, even though most of the time it's not true. Okay. Back up the hill and... Into the cave. I'm... Wow, my health is way down. Which is kind of a problem. Okay. Now, if we have lava instead of water, hopefully I respawn if I fall in lava. This feels like a boss fight platform. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, it, re it healed me. Ah, oh, thank you, demo. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what's going- I, like, can't get close to him. Can I, like, punch torch the torches out? Can I hit these guys? What can I do? Can I- oh no. Can I- hit these guys towards him, maybe? Is that... Oh no. Why didn't I hit him? Why didn't I hit him? It's not... Why is my attack not working? Oh, I think I figured out the issue with the punching. And this is just a, just a little bug. Just a little buglet. If you walk the, um... The punching animation doesn't fire. There we go! I was right! That's how you're supposed to do it, so it's a good thing I figured that out. The, um... Yeah, when you walk, it cancels the punching animation. 
and then it doesn't hit. Fine. This is what it is. I, now, and that's good that they give you like an aiming, basically, an aiming line to see where you're gonna punch the guys. So, yeah, so you see, like, when I punch, it winds up, and if I walk, it cancels the wind up. Okay, not not a big deal. I got it. I got it now. Although it's gonna be a lot harder. Oh, I missed him. I mean, I'm assuming that's what I have to do, because I knocked him into the lava, and that seems like a good idea. He's there. Oh, it was too far away. Okay. That one should hit him. No? Still too far? There we go. Oh, cool. Still, that one didn't knock him in the... Okay, hit him again. Oh, cool. Good job! You defeated the terrifying Rinyo Do by knocking his Uchimusha minions into him. Thank you for playing this demo of Incredible Tale. Hope you enjoyed it. A lot more coming soon. Cool. That was fun. I'm glad I figured that out, because that was... That, that would have been frustrating. Um, so that's Incredible Tale of Yokai Robots and the Lunar Tourist. As I said, they're planning on adding a lot more party management with the villagers and leveling up the villagers and giving them skills and tasks and whatever, and also stuff with the um, tower defense, building up the town, and the combat. So those are the three things they've got together. But so far, they've got the combat. The combat is fun. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, if that sounds interesting to you, check out the Kickstarter. It's running until October 26th. So, you know, help cool things get made. And regardless, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.